is the Cambridge Organic Food Company. We've been here for 12 years and it's been great, but now we're ready to move to a new home in order to continue our growth. We could look for a place that just suits our own needs, but what I'd really like to see happen is to create a place that helps all of Cambridge's sustainable food businesses to succeed. The Food Hub will help this vision to become a reality. And in this short film, we'd like to explain why this project is so important and how you can help us achieve it. Unfortunately, this building isn't available to us, but it does give you some idea of the kind of space that we are looking for for the Food Hub project. The interior of the Food Hub will consist of three main areas. One area will be for handling and storage of food. From here it can be dispatched wholesale to shops, restaurants, schools and canteens around the city, or it may be kept for use within the hub itself. This area will be where trade buyers and chefs can come and be inspired by some of the best produce that our local area has to offer. Another area of the food hub will be a commercial kitchen, which will be available to small local food businesses and which could also be used as a training kitchen. And here in the middle we have a general use area. This space will be used in the morning for packing orders ready for delivery, but then for all sorts of community events, like pop-up restaurants or farmers markets, in the evenings and weekends. Central to everything that happens at the Food Hub will be food produced on farms that are local to Cambridge. As well as being an outlet for those local organic farms who already supply the local market, the Food Hub will enable more local farms to market their produce directly. We farm 450 acres here in Barton, Cambridge, uh, it was 450 acres of just monoculture um, and no wildlife and now with the countryside restorations management we have eight combinable crops and an abundance of wildlife. We are losing our, our um, added value from the wildlife friendly farming because we don't have a direct um, point of contact with the consumer. A food hub would make that consumer farmer relationship better and they would understand our ethos better. Well, what drew me to um, organics in the first place was just, just the idea of not using all of these chemicals, which are um, kind of poisonous chemicals. I just really want to uh, develop the soil as best as possible. Um, that's what's really interesting and inspiring to, and motivating to me, is to get a bit of ground which has the potential to, um, to be 10, 20, 100 times better. As each year progresses, I hope to um, expand a little bit in terms of size, but also in terms of the range of things uh, that I'm growing. So hopefully at some point down the, down the line, I'll get some larger polytunnels. I'll be able to grow some tomatoes and aubergines and um, cucumbers and things like that. The high cost of property in Cambridge hurts independent business. Many of the small businesses who are currently enriching Cambridge's food scene literally operate out of their kitchens at home. The Food Hub will provide them with an affordable opportunity to grow their business. There is a huge demand for decent bread in Cambridge. I call this decent bread, it's real bread, whatever. Um, I've got way more customers than I can meet the demand for. You know, working in my home kitchen is both good but inefficient. There's a real lack of suitable premises in Cambridge. They are very expensive. You know, I've had, I've looked at leases, I've looked at buying places. One of the challenges I think, I think you'd probably agree that we have had is finding kitchen space. We've been incredibly lucky um, and we've had some really good support, but we've been contacted by a lot of people trying to start up something similar who have found that a real, you know, just as much of a challenge as we have. Yeah, Cambridge space is a premium, so having yeah. an actual kitchen space that like-minded businesses can use on flexible terms um, will be a huge, huge asset to the community. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one day I'd love to have my own space where I can serve up cakes and have wonderful salad bar and, uh, and hopefully some sort of, you know, living things in the space that just all comes together as one the sort of natural concept. Um, but along the way, it's, it's really difficult at the moment. Rent in Cambridge is really expensive. And so having projects like the Food Hub is a way for me to be able to expand my business. There's, there's so much you know, um, that a startup business have to bear in mind, not only the production um, of, you know, the product itself, but you have all the marketing, which is 
a full-time job in itself. And then you have, of course, all the logistics. What really excites me about the Food Hub is that I'm going to be able to have a lot of resources available um, to me to be able to use them and to grow the business, um, to make it more sustainable. It's very difficult when you're starting out and the, the best thing to have is support. People around you who may be a little further ahead than you, who are um, keen to share what they've learned. Working together or in a kind of working community with other people is appealing. Maybe um, my waste material might help feed into a nice little bakery that does some nice bread and we work together and we develop a nice beer bra on bread, which would be great. But certainly as a chef, you do not have time before you start work in the morning to be going around to five different wonderful producers picking up, you know, beautiful tomatoes from somewhere or amazing. I mean, look at these courgettes. They're just absolutely stunning. Um, you don't have time to be going around looking at stuff much as you might want to. So the idea of um, having a much better, easier relationship with a, with a group um, is very exciting and, um, you know, feels to me like the future. I think um, the idea of having this beautiful food store at the Food Hub is, for me, one of the most exciting things. The, the main driver for me, the thing that really gets me out of bed in the morning, is the produce itself. When you, I mean, I think I get far too overexcited when someone gives me a crate of aubergines and they're just these beautiful, bright purple, round aubergines. And seeing things like that, you can't help but already come up with ideas for what you want to transform them into. And so having a space where there's all of this beautiful produce and locally sourced things all under one roof is just a source of inspiration, really. Everybody all in one place, that's going to be really exciting. And for me to have my produce there being sold in amongst all the other stuff, as you say, will be like a cornucopia of all this, um, all this amazing produce. So it would be very exciting for me to be a part of it. And I think um, it, we need something like that in Cambridge. It would be great to see it. Uh, manifested into reality from from this great idea. I think the Food Hub represents a great opportunity not only for distributing food um, into the city but for educating both young people and um, local businesses um, and people who want to work in the food industry about sustainable food practices. Uh, food waste is a really big problem, around a third of food that's uh, produced goes to waste at the moment um, and that happens across the supply chain, so it's from uh, wonky veg that uh, is grown by farmers and doesn't meet the strict uh, aesthetic cosmetic standards that supermarkets impose on farmers, um, so it never even makes it to the shelves. Um, you get a huge amount of manufacturing food waste um, and then Obviously, uh, shops aren't able to sell absolutely everything, so you get more food waste at that level, um, which is perfectly good food. There's nothing wrong with it, so um, it's about putting those systems in place to make sure that it can be uh, redistributed to enterprises and charities that can use it to feed people. Because food, as I think a lot of us know by now, is, has an enormous effect on climate change. Food is one of the, the biggest contributors to climate change. And the choices we make are incredibly important. My name is Jacqueline Gargett and uh, I'm the coordinator of a strategic research initiative at the University of Cambridge called Cambridge Global Food Security. So we're concerned with addressing what we believe is one of this century's greatest global challenges, which is how to sustainably feed a growing global population. So the current food system is uh, currently unsustainable and uh, is putting enormous pressures on the environment. Basically, Cambridge Sustainable Food is about real food, about locally grown food and supporting the people who produce it, who make things out of it and also reducing food poverty, giving people access to this great local seasonal food and reducing food waste because it's a fantastic scandal at, at the moment. It's also about um, cooking skills, really um, enabling people to enjoy 
cooking fresh ingredients and see how fantastic it is when you can share food in the community together instead of just eating on the hoof because food is about community and people talking to each other and doing things together. And it's also about the environment because what's good for us is good for the planet. And at the moment, our food system is trashing our planet and driving climate change. Eighteen years ago, when I started the Cambridge Organic Food Company, I was sleeping on my dad's sofa and I didn't have a penny to my name. But with hard work, perseverance and the help of some amazing people, just look what we've achieved. Imagine what we could do with a food hub. We'd love to show you a property and say, this is the building that we want for the food hub. But without our funding in place first, this is impossible. What is important to us at this stage is to be able to demonstrate public support for the project. Not only would this enable us to access further funding, it would open all sorts of doors for us. We won't ask you for the money until we have achieved our funding target and have identified the site. Which means that when the food hub does open, it will be doing so on the crest of a big wave of public support. Uh, the thing that excites me most about the Food Hub is just, um, I think, A, it's a brilliant team putting it together. They have so much experience um, and they really, really care about what they're doing and about the future of the food industry, particularly in our region. I think it'll give people something different and fresh and new. I think it'll be a chance for people to really pull together, do something completely different that's never been done before. Well, I think this is an absolutely fantastic opportunity to do something on a much bigger scale. It's a fantastic opportunity for us to be uh, associated with the Cambridge Food Hub where uh, solutions can be implemented on a local scale and uh, Cambridge academics have the opportunity to evaluate their effectiveness and see if they could be scaled up. So I'm really excited about the Food Hub project because it's the first of its kind in the UK and it's it's such a fantastic idea, the idea that people would be coming together to support each other and help each other and make the food business in Cambridge grow in a sustainable and an environmentally friendly way. And what that collaboration together could mean for both that community as a group of businesses, as a group of people and for the wider community, just phenomenal. There is clearly a strong feeling towards making sustainable food a feature of Cambridge life. But the thing is, we're already doing it. It's people like Tyler who has worked so hard to set up his biodynamic small holding. Zoe and Alex who are providing real solutions to the problem of food waste. Or Katie who is creating inspirational food from local ingredients. These people have some great ideas and are passionate about what they do. The whole point of the Food Hub is about giving these people an opportunity for their ideas and businesses to flourish. But the thing that excites me most about the Food Hub project is the sheer scale and ambition of it. Because frankly, the many problems and issues that face the modern food system demand an ambitious response. We want to create something significant and lasting for Cambridge. And that's why I'm supporting the Cambridge Sustainable Food Hub project. For a commitment of £100, you will become a friend of the Food Hub. This will entitle you to a 10% discount on anything that you buy at the Food Hub for life. Think about what you currently spend on groceries. If you were to spend just £20 a week at the Food Hub, you'd recoup your investment in a year. We've tried to make our offer as attractive as possible, but what we hope will be your real motivation for supporting this project is imagining yourself visiting this wonderful, visionary food store and knowing that you helped to build it. That's why I'm supporting the Food Hub. That's why I support the Food Hub project. And that's why I support the Cambridge Sustainable Food Hub. And that's why I support the Sustainable Food Hub project. This is why I'm supporting the Sustainable Food Hub. That's why I'm supporting the Food Hub. That's why I support the Food Hub project. That's why I'm supporting the Sustainable Food Hub project. That's why I support the Sustainable Food Hub project. That's why we're supporting the Food Hub project. And that's why I'm supporting the Sustainable Food Hub. And that's why we support the Cambridge Sustainable Food Hub, and so should you.